Johannesburg has experienced an explosion of art this weekend with the FNB Art Joburg and Latitudes Art Fair as well as Underline taking place. Let's get some more insight onto this. I'm joined by Wycliffe Mundopa, who's an artist who's been part of this Art Weekend in Johannesburg. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Talk to us about the experience of exhibiting in South Africa in this particular political climate and social climate. All right. Thank you very much for having me here. I think Art is there to sort of to keep people together despite the political difference and all sorts of st stuff. So at the pre present moment, art is very, very important. Like it unifies people. It doesn't matter of the color, race, or which country do you come from. Like when you are showing in Jobbeck right now, people are there to look. Is your work good? Is, are, you, are, you, are, are, you sort of, are you are you sort of in the right context or mm -hmm. yeah, something like that? Do you feel that uh, artists have to make work that's a social commentary right now? In South Africa, we know we're facing um, femicide, we're facing issues of Afrophobia, we're facing issues of xenophobia. So when you're creating as an artist, do you now need to think, I need to have work with social commentary, or do you also need to balance that with just beauty that perhaps doesn't speak to any particular theme? It depends with the person, but I think the most important thing is like to do something which is honest, if like, which is happening every day, which is affecting you like directly, I think it's important to comment about it. But if, for example, if you are slightly distant away, it's better to talk of things that you are really aware of, things that you like and all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we've got your work behind us on the screens now. If you can just talk to us about the themes that come through in your work and what you're exhibiting this year. All right, this series comes from like last year, like early this year, I did a sort of a, a group a exhibition, two-man exhibition, me and Grisha, it was titled Night and Day. So it's like, like things which is happening in Arari, like it's like it's night and day, like you, do, you don't know what to expect and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of a continuation series of, of, of that exhibition. So in my work, I basically like play with like a lot of things, like I put fabric collage, I put spray paint, like basically when I'm working, it's sort of my playground, like. Okay. Yeah. Talk to us more about the art scene in Harare, Zimbabwe. What is it like? Do you have support, particularly as an artist? It, it's very interesting because Harare is small. So basically, I think we've got two or let's say one institution, which is like an education institution, and then some artists study abroad. But the good thing is like it's, it's vibrant. It, it produces lots of artists, and you mm -hmm. cannot imagine that a small space like that, you can have four or five talented artists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've worked, although you're based in Harare, you've exhibited in Johannesburg before, both at the Johannesburg Art Fair, as it was called then, mm -hmm. as well as at Latitudes Now. Mm -hmm. Is who owns a fair and the people behind an art fair, does that play an influence in whether or not you show your work there? It depends which side are you taking it from. I think it's best if there's more players and people like don't fight but keep on like supporting each other like mm -hmm. yeah so there is a, a contestation or growth in the south african art scene yeah. and some people are some people are saying that is uh, causing politics but let's go to now the the work that you're going to be doing going forward do you plan when you finish an exhibition like this perhaps that when you go back to zimbabwe you're going to produce x amount of pieces does the work come what else do you do as an artist like me, like my most of the time, like I play a lot, and okay. then during that time of playing, I'll be researching, like doing all sorts of stuff. So I don't say tomorrow I want to go and paint, like it just happens spontaneously. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. how important is having a background, a practical background, whether it's going to university, whether it's going to a college, or doing courses in art if you want to be a successful contemporary African artist? I think it's very important, like if you check like art, it has been there since like maybe the Stone Age period or even way before. So you need to understand your background, you need to, so, so that you won't like step in like other people's path or you have to know what you're doing and, mm -hmm. and then you choose what you want. So I believe that going to college or going to university is very, very important for an artist. Like there are some incidents where people chose not to. It's, it's, also, it's also okay, but I think you have got an advantage if you go to college. Like You've got the grounding. Yeah, yeah. So there's a, there's a perception that artists are very reclusive. They don't like doing things that you know, other people are doing. If they're in social media, they're not too cool because that's a, 
Uh, that's not a very high grade thing. How do you work in an era where a lot of the time you need to be very present, you need to be networking and mingling, not only in real life, but also online? Like that, that's the role of the galleries and dealers. Like they do most of the stuff. Like as an artist, I think you should focus in the, like in your studio practice. And then the gallery will do like the stuff, the promotional stuff and, and all other stuff. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and is it important for you as an artist to contribute towards awareness of what art is, um, creating an art viewing and art buying culture, or is that something that you believe that the gallery should be doing without you? I think that conversation should start maybe at the family level, like when you're growing up, like some or some you need to take your kids to the museum to, yeah, to view and, and mm. all sorts of stuff, yeah. But as you, as artists, um, both yourself and, and your other colleagues that you work with, do you feel that you have to do perhaps outreaches, going back to perhaps a school that you attended or the like, to try and get people interested who may not be interested in art to think of it as something that they should go and view or something that they should go buy? Yeah, I, th I think it's very, very important. Like in my home country, almost like every year I took maybe three or four students mm -hmm. to that to work with me like, like they will be playing with my material free of charge and everything like and uh, some other time i also do like to do to go and do like sort of coaching clinics at schools like especially which is surrounding especially the high density areas where they don't take art as a subject like in the past like the group a schools were privileged to do art and the mm -hmm. other groups were were not privileged to do that so Okay. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time. Wycliffe Mundopa, an artist based in Harare, Zimbabwe, in South Africa as part of uh, this Johannesburg Art Weekend. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Time for